Okay, we're into round two. We're up against the uh, certainly uh, one of the greatest people in all of Netrunner. It's an Arco Mushroom. Uh, she's on NEH and is probably trying to kill me. I think I really like this start, so I'm going to keep it. I'd love an Imp as well, but we've got like everything else we need. Um, yeah. Suitably. <laughs> um. Shall. Shall be revealed. <laughs> uh, Narco saying that she bets it's tag me. I mean. That's probably bad for me. Sitting. Um, okay. So it could be a couple of things. It could just be the the straight false lead kill. Definitely not. Okay. Wage workers. Uh, both were both decks on wage workers. Both decks were on wage workers, right? The kill and I mean that's one hell of a start. What do we do here? Uh, I think we just set up. I can actually risk running HQ because so we do this. We run HQ in case we happen to steal a stealable agenda. I guess we should have put down two things first. That's fine. And we'll do this and this. Good book for Mentor. Okay. They're on the bladder walk version. Right. Hit our strike funds. Yes, thank you very much. So this is maybe one of well one of the reasons that I am on buffer drive. I have got to find the thing. We're also gonna to have to zoom out quite a lot. Damn, this is not gonna record well, is it? <laughs> I'm already at fifty percent. Um uh we draw a cookbook we'll just draw we'll hit a price looking for a buffer drive uh, we find an audrey which is probably fine uh we can draw and do we potentially die otherwise i really want to install this symbol chip i'm gonna draw again oh no don't lose the buffer drive don't lose the buffer drive don't lose a buffer drive. Just we've actually found our like ultimate tech piece for this. I just need to not lose it this turn, and then everything is fine. Everything will be fine. We didn't lose it. We lost a completely unnecessary piece of tech. Uh, we're gonna get our Marnied. That's annoying. Will happen. Oh, and we lost all our money. And we're going to lose our fermenter. So that's a shame. Okay. I think I want to get the buffer drive down before anything else. Uh-huh. Hmm. Uh 
can't throw these cards away. I can't, I just can't do it. I can't moshing them. <laughs> now they could just score out here and if they score a second one then we're in like a ton of trouble we need to find an imp immediately uh we'll add a similar chip to the bottom of the stack at least next turn we can moshing and i will not care probably um definitely want to find a lago as well okay Right, we can draw one. We can moshing all of these. Uh, yeah, we've got Audrey, so we don't need Botulus. Um, we'll hit Strike Fund, we'll gain two, we'll put these Strike Funds to the bottom so we can redraw it at some point. We need to get rid of the Armani now. I really want to find an imp to deal with it, but that could be a big task. Uh, this could get rid of the Armani. Costs four to trash one. It's a lot of mana. Then we will be on zero. Um, part of me actually wants that in the bin. So I've got Simulchip in hand. And whatever this is, it's probably going to need to be hushed. But the big question is, are they on the one, the version which has a ton of ice? Oh, this one has enough ice, apparently. It certainly has some ice. Um, okay. Fun times. We have a botulist in the bin, we have a hush in the bin, we have a buzzsaw in the bin. We could go and trash something first. I think we kind of like have to get rid of the Armani. We also possibly have to get rid of the wage workers. Can we get into this remote? It's going to be like ping VSA or it could be... Let's draw, let's draw. We're just going to click this, run and trash the Armani. Um, doesn't feel great. Like, running and trashing the wage work is the other option. Because if they now take us down to... They score a crypt trash here, then we're sad. But maybe we just start, like, conduiting them to absolute death. Rough. Very rough. They didn't install an Armani though. So I think we start going with the conduit. Oh no, we need money for the loaners. Let's draw. Let's draw. Put down one of these. Put the fermenter. And We could throw out the conduit so we can get it back next turn, but I think 
we just need to prepare ourselves ready for going in to this server if they put something in it. Um, oh, just in time. That's a shame. Can we draw into an imp, please? Because that's what we really want. Draw one. Apparently not. Check 13. Uh, we've just got a photo. Let's check 14 in case they're being sneaky. Uh, uh, we don't care. Do we need to check 4? Um, I'd like to find an imp, please, any time you like. Yep. Now, we can probably get into this server. Without an imp, it's fairly useless getting into the server, because if it is a Bologna, we can't steal it. I mean, we're going to pop this Bologna first, I guess. Um, they offer us here, I would assume. Yeah. Okay. Uh, but we have to go and at least check whatever this is. We still don't have an imp. Well, that sucks. Um, let's trash. We might trash the conduit here so that we can potentially just start trying to wheel it. It is also a good thing to. Uh, to install from our hand, though. Trash for Lago here. I don't actually want to trash for Steel Skin quite yet. Let's just uh, let's just trash this leech for now. We can always like do the trashy trashy. Um. Do we have anything that shuffles our deck? No, so we'll put it to the top. Uh, we'll break. Five tags seems terrifying. We have to steal this. And now... We like either trash their wage workers, or I think we just put this down, and we go. I'd love to have at least one more credit here, but I do not. See a bladder wart, and an offer. Uh, we'll put a fermenter on the bottom. They have bladder wart oppo. We can't pop up to four cards. 
don't think we're scared of mindscaping. Oh, we probably we probably should have got a fermenter back. We should have got a fermenter back because we're going to need to steal some stuff. Two Armani's in the bin is good. It's good for us. Okay, going to draw a card. Um, let's see what we find with this. Uh, well, these are mostly. Let's put the pinhole at the bottom of our set. We'll install the Lago just because it's something that we can install. Doesn't feel great. Uh, we'll run R&D. Okay. No Armani res. I think we're okay. Be pad campaign. Marilyn. King. Um, hmm. Draw one. Run HQ. That's not good. That's not good. Do I have a clot in the bin? No. That's the way. If 11 is um, is a balloon event, ah, uh, GG. Yeah, early Armani sets back. No imp. Oh, rough. <laughs> um, that wouldn't have helped because they didn't pass it on it. Answer it. Um, next card apparently. Not that it would help here. Um, yeah, early Armani, early Armani is such a brutal, whatever, um, want to make the second, Uh, other games, this merch, Augustus, other games, Wiggy, Wiggonometry, uh, uh, here we go, all right, Sable, eh, uh, am I keeping a hand with a snare in it, tempting, like, highly tempting, Thing is, I've got a, I've got a ice up HQ anyway. It doesn't feel like the worst. I'm gonna keep it. Let's do this. Let's. Put this on HQ. R and D mark. Probably. Good enough for them. Hermes, eh? Uh, 
No, it's not to Rashida. Brutal. Do this, this, and this. And see where we get to. We can res both of our pieces of ice. Just. Okay, that's a shame. Uh, setting up a bit. Makes sense. Right, let's draw some ice, please. That is not a lot of ice. Uh, can we go for this yet? I don't think we can. So I think we're going to go like R&D, server 1, server 1, server 2, server 1. I'd love to throw something in the bin, but just not correct here. But at least we can maybe stop them getting sable value. So it's called R and D mark. The big question is do we res the Anansi if they run it? Not one hundred percent sure if we do. Echelon. Reasonable into the Sisentan. Okay, so now I think we can make a play. Oh, this looks uh, not the best. I think I'm going to throw out three here. One, two, three. So if I draw one more. We get rid of this, this, and this, and then kind of just see what happens. HQ mark. Hmm. We resin an Nancy here, right? I'm pretty sure we do. There's a chance that they run into a snare and immediately die. Oh, they can. Oh, no, they can't pay. They can't pay for that one. What do we have in here? Spin Doctor. Okay, so we can draw into second snare. Uh, we're definitely going to draw into a second snare. That sounds like a ton of fun. So we'll do Spin Doctor there. We'll do a Nancy on the... Um, we kind of want to draw YDL next turn. We can put the punitive counter strike further down. We're going to do a Nancy YDL and then snare next. Done. Cool. Okay. We have two snares in hand. Two in six. Hey, Jack. Okay. Ah. So it's unfortunate because if they had had like one more card in hand, they might have continued going. Um, because they're, they're not continuing because of two GDO. We'll do this. We'll put, I think probably, this is a Nancy, right? We've got a teeny HQ. We'll put, I think we might could push here, right? Bit risky. Got two punitives in hand though. I've just drawn a YDL. No, so let's let's try and fake them out. Uh, we'll put these two back, and we'll put the other spin doctor in, and we will throw out. Um. Maybe one of the snares. Like our hand's going to become really clogged now. Let's throw out one of the snares and I'll bring it back to the spin doctor. Okay, 
Uh, we don't want to bring it back quite yet, so let's bring it back up. Okay, uh, fine. So we'll, I think we trash the spin doctor. Get the spin doctor and the snare back. Put the regen in cell one. And put what is this? Sice and Tan, which they can deal with. Tattoo Bola, which they can't. Void, they technically can't. There's something in our house. Feels like an opportunity where we could afford to have a Hermes bounce. Um, do we resin a Nancy? Do we resin a Nancy? Three cards of damage from their hand. I think we do. There's always the chance that uh, this ends up being a snare, right? Oh, they broke it all. Oh, well, that's very worth it then. I will look at the top seven cards. Okay. Um, there's not really much money or... Like, I'm just going to have to bring the hands I review to hand and then make R&D quite safe, I think. They're going to bounce something. This is fine. They can't really run through this Anansi. They probably bounce. They might bounce a bit. So we can't discard anything. Save done. And then, do we want to bring anything into HQ? I think we actually don't. We just want to be able to... Hands eye one card next turn and then double punitive. They might. No, I don't think they have enough credits to power to pass that, so. Sorry. Let's think break. Um. Done. Next on to R and D, so we're gonna bury these agendas. Two G, regen. Even though we've got necessity, we're okay. Um, we'll go. I want the Tati Bola, right? I want the Vampire Law. Snare, Vampire, and Essa, Sice and Tan on the top so that we can hand Sai the Sice and Tan because I think it's the worst piece of ice in the pack. Bearing in mind that they have an echelon. I still have to pay six. Oh my gosh. <laughs> uh, um, add one trash zero. They have nine credits. Uh, 
so they could probably they can survive this right kind of forgot they were getting wow okay so yeah so they were getting like dirty laundry and info bounty uh what did they bounce oh there was a regenesis in here of course <laughs> they bounced it okay so they might be thinking so if they have a class act in hand then installing class act seems good Discrediting up makes sense. All right. So do we just push again? We know that the top is perfectly safe. So we can like hands eye this Sisent hand. Install the Regenesis. Probably click for a clever. Seems okay. Value punitive. They did want to keep their card. They like really wanted to keep their cards. Highly tempting to value punitive. Advance is an option. They run this is pretty bad. They inside job. It's fine. I think just getting credit is, is probably safest. Like, value punitive might have been the play there because they really wanted to hold on to their cards. They paid a lot of money to break a single sub with Echelon. I decided that this was six for them to break, right? Currently. Seems like a good trade. Uh, we'll call event. I mean, this the size and is is bad after. Jack out makes sense. Yeah, the size and is specifically bad once they have their other stuff down. Um, but I think this is fine. We'll score here. They get to bouncy bouncy, and then it's whether we give up on the punitive plan here or not. Like, am I going to be able to punitive them? I think I throw out the Anansi here. I technically have a way through this currently. Um, as expensive as it is. I guess, like, against Inside Job and Boomerang is really good. I just don't think I can afford to, to res another one. Maybe I should have just given up on the punitives at this point. Throwing out the punitives, or at least one punitive, is probably correct. Like, my only real chance, I think, of... Are we getting duped here? Oh, no. Uh, ooh. Um, can I res this for free damage? I think so. So, what do we lose? We lost an inside job. We lost a doof. And a twinning. That's pretty huge. They see nothing. 
I do for the spec. Um, oh, and it was Denmark. Okay. Um, we draw the snap. I think we can draw one. Uh, how many doofs have we seen? Just the one. What's better to put on HQ here? I think the Athenian. Uh, uh, we can fry up units now, I think. I, I'm somewhat feeling like we're not going to be able to punitive them at any point. Like, we can't land a six damage punitive anymore. And we didn't get to draw into a YDL with our with our last one. Uh, this is worth it, right? How much does this cost him to build? I think this is worth it. It's a rest thing. Uh, we hit Chesva, Firebands, Earthrise. Both seem fine. Oh, but now I don't have money for snares! Oh, that's, that's silly. I should have just let them carry on. So much money, though. I'm going to be so sad if they hit a snare here. Boo. Realised too late. Um, pick for free seems good. Okay, we have a Regenesis. If they are on Shibboleth, that is probably pretty bad to break this with now, I would imagine. Uh, can we push here? I think we can because I don't think they um, have good reason to run here. Whereas next turn we might ice up archives, put the regenesis in server one, and then see where we go from there. They will be able to inside job archives, it's worth knowing. And they, I think they know where all the Anansi's are because they've seen this one as face up. Boomerang gets them in here. Uh, no, we've got a Void. Okay, so I think it is Tattoo Bowler on Archives. This is server one. And then it's whether we play this for money or take a credit. I think that's fine. We have two cards, which is enough to deal with one void trigger. Their mark is archives, which is a shame. Okay, loving this Tatu Bowler right here. So unfortunately now they're going to get through for free credits as opposed to more credits. Uh, but we will res a Tatu Bowler very happily. Uh, 
fire that. Now I think... I say the effect line might just be to run archives. I guess they're a bit poor now. And we have one here as well. Beautiful ice placement. GG. And we get there. Worries. Good games. Okay, how long have we got left in the round? About 25 minutes. Um, we should probably do the reporty thing. Um, I will be back for round three shortly.